this one tutorial you can create unlimited typography effect so let's start on our channel thing sci-fi first of all add a text by pressing shift a then rotate it on x axis press number key 1 for front view then go to text setting and select center in horizontal then go to edit menu by pressing tab key and type whatever you want after that come back to object mode by pressing tab key then select the font whatever you want then go to geometry and apply some extrude value to the text select the text and press periodic key to make the text as a center object then press ctrl alt 0 this will set the camera to the view then select the camera and reduce the focal length play with the location value of camera then again select the text go to modifier setting and apply remesh modifier select sharp here and depth value of 8 then uncheck remove disconnect go to wireframe view in wireframe view you can see why we are applying re remesh modifier when we mute remesh modifier you can clearly see the geometry is messy select the text click the mouse right key convert to to mesh now the text is converted to mesh and the and the remesh modifier is automatically applied Click Ctrl A and apply all the transform. Then again go to edit mode by pressing tab key and press A to select everything. Then press P and select by loose part. This will make all the text a individual object. Come back to object mode by pressing tab key. Now we will play with the origin. For that click the option menu in the upper right part of the 3D viewport. Here select origin then select the move tool. Now select in individual text one by one and make the origin at the center of the individual text after that uncheck the origin in the option just for demonstration purpose I am making only 80 frame timeline select the first text and at frame 60 enter keyframe in Y location then move the timeline around 30 frame and move the text little bit backward in the Y location then again enter keyframe then go to frame 0 on the timeline make the Y location minus 4 and again enter keyframe the animation will look like this but there is a magic now convert the timeline to the graph editor in view select frame all then click normalize then mouse right click and in interpolation mode select bezier now select the first frame press sx and reduce the length of the bezier handle do the same with the last frame and increase the length of middle frame by pressing sx according to me there is something missing so select the middle frame middle keyframe press gx and move it to 40 frame now see this is what the effect i want to create the smash effect in the end now add a simple deform modifier this will act as a cherry on the cake you can play with the multiple option on the simple deform to create unique effects remember we have just moved the origin of individual text to the center this is just because for the simple deform effect i will select bend and y axis for this tutorial select 45 at the angle then add frame 60 enter keyframe then move to frame 30 make the angle minus 45 then again enter keyframe then go to frame 0 make the angle 45 and again enter keyframe now you can play with the simple deform options to see what look best but i will go with bend and y axis come back to frame 60 move 5 frame from here then at angle enter minus 45 divided by 2 then again enter keyframe 
again move 4 frame from here then make angle value 22.5 divided by 2 then again enter keyframe then again move 3 frame from here enter minus 11.3 3 divided by 2 in the angle and again enter keyframe then again move 3, 3 frame from here and enter 0 in angle and enter keyframe hide the object transform keyframe so that you can only focus on the simple deform keyframe then in view select frame all select the first three keyframe and apply bezier to it reduce the size of first keyframe by pressing sx and scale the key size of the middle keyframe by pressing sx and rotate the last keyframe by pressing r now play the animation and see whether it is looking good or not If you want, you can add one more simple deform and play with its options. This time I will play with D twist and the Z axis. Add frame 60, make the angle 0 and enter keyframe. Then go to the last frame, enter 180 degree in the angle and enter keyframe. Oh, one more animation which I forgot to add. Go to the object property at rotation z at frame 60 enter 0 in the rotation and enter keyframe then go to frame 0 enter 180 in the x rotation and again enter keyframe the possibilities are unlimited you can play with the values and you can get as many as result you want don't forget to unhide option transform we have enter keyframe in the first text but what for the rest it is too time taking to enter the animation one by one to all the individual text but there is a shortcut first select the text which have no animation then at last select the last text by pressing the shift key then press ctrl l and link the animation this will link all the animation with the rest of the text see but here the modifiers are missing for that again select all the text which do not have modifiers first then press the shift and select the text which have applied the modifier then press ctrl l and select copy modifier now see this is simple the animation is done for all the text but here all the four text are going in one go to move the text one behind the other you have to install a plugin called commotion which i will try to add in the description install the add-on and enable it then select all the text go to object relation make single use object animation then go to frame 0 on the timeline then enter the time duration what you want between the first text and the second in the offset i am entering 4 second then click offset animation here nothing is visible on the timeline because i forget to uncheck object transform in the graph editor now see the animation is ready